Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I hope you're good. Welcome to LES Matters TV. Today I bring you an interesting topic. I am going to be talking about scaffolding in early childhood education. The discussion today is scaffolding in early childhood education. You might be wondering what is scaffolding in early childhood education. Sit back, relax and enjoy this topic with me. So what is scaffolding in early childhood education? Okay, so scaffolding is the level of support a child receives when he or she is trying to accomplish or complete a task. Okay, so scaffolding has to do with the level of support a child receives when he or she is trying to complete a task or is working on a task in early childhood. Okay, so I'm going to link one of the psychologists in early childhood. For some of you that you're familiar with early childhood or you're working in the area of early childhood, Vygotsky's zone of proximal development, Vygotsky talked about scaffolding. Okay, so Vygotsky talked about the assistant, the adult or peers offer a child when the child is completing a tax okay so that's what Vygotsky is on about Vygotsky is on about the level of support a child receives from an adult or an able peers in relation to when a child is completing a tax okay so I'm going to base this really on parents okay I'm teachers of young children from birth to six years, okay? Scaffolding is really important in early childhood, okay? I'm going to cite an example. For example, if you have a child completing a puzzle, a child is working on putting a puzzle together and you can observe that this child is really having difficulty completing this task, okay? So that's when you as the adult step in, whether you as the parent, guardian or teachers of this child, okay? You step in to offer this child assistance in relation to the child to be able to complete this puzzle. It's really important and you have to step in just to make sure that, you know, the child is still really interested in completing this puzzle because sometimes you know when children are frustrated they're trying to put a jigsaw or puzzle together and it's not really working out you know they, they will be frustrated and they might want to give up and say oh no i don't want to do it again okay so that's what scaffolding is all about you as the adult stepping in when you find out or you observe that a child is having a difficulty in relation to performing attacks okay so it's really important okay so you as the adult that is when you step in for example you have a child reading a story okay and a child is stuck in relation to pronouncing a word okay so in relation to scaffolding you as the adult should step in and you pronounce this word for the child okay so i would like you to understand that scaffolding is different from invading in a child's personal space when a child is playing okay so i'm going to explain so that you get the difference between these two okay so for example you have a child painting the child is able to paint and you as the adult you went over and you're saying to the child oh i want you to paint it red instead of green so you are invading on the child's personal space which is different from okay for example the child is having difficulty in relation to the color that they would like to use to paint so you as the adult can step in and say okay what color would you like okay would you prefer to use green or red so you're giving the child the choice to make in relation to when the child wants to paint okay so scaffolding is really important in early childhood okay scaffolding will help a child to stay in track okay when they are completing an activity when you as the adult you step in you offer help to the child it's going to make the child to stay focused to be able to complete this task okay so scaffolding is really important to you as the adult and in relation to scaffolding that's when observation comes in, okay because how will you know a child need help if you do not observe the child so it's really important going forward whenever a child is engaging in an activity you whether whether you are the parent okay you're the guider or your teachers of the student you need to observe the student so that if there's a need for help then you as the adult will be able to step in okay so in relation to scaffolding in early childhood observation is the key okay you observe the student and when there is a need for you as the adults to step in you step in okay 
scaffolding also help children to move on in relation to completing attacks okay so you help a child for example a child is having difficulty putting a particular puzzle together and you are able to help the child you know to support the child to complete the session of the tax so the child will be able to move on okay to complete the other set of the puzzle okay so it's really important scaffolding in early childhood is important that you as the adult you step in whenever a child is having difficulty completing a tax okay so the tax that i'm going to give to you as adults whether you're a parent you're the guidance or teachers of children from back to six years i would like you to observe the student when they are engaging in activities and when there is a need for you to step in you have to immediately step in that's what's what scaffolding is all about it's not a time for you to say okay the child should be able to do it i'm not stepping or you are ignoring okay no you step in and you support this child to be able to complete this activity so the tax is you observe children whenever there's a need for you to step in when they are completing an activities i would like you to step in and i would like you to come back in the comment session let me know in the process what came up and how were you able to support this group of children to complete these activities okay thank you so much for watching and listening and until i come your way next time i'll still remain my humble self early years matters tv take care and mind yourselves now bye bye